I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Rugged Ridge Rock Crawler Rock Sliders fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers. Today we're going to talk through the installation of these rock sliders, which is a two out of three wrench install because this does require you to drill eight holes into your frame in order to get these installed. I would recommend setting aside two hours to get these bolted up, but we'll give some more information on the install in just a second. We're also going to talk through the features and the construction of these sliders. These are gonna be for those of you who are interested in some side protection for the rocker area of your Jeep when you're going off-road and also want something that will help you get in and out of your Jeep by working as a fairly useful step as well. Now, while these do require you to drill into your frame, these don't require you to drill into your body. There are sliders on the market that do require you to drill the body. In my opinion, those are going to be a little bit stronger and work a little bit better. So if you're looking for even more protection and you're okay drilling the body, those sliders are probably gonna be the best option for you. If you're looking for a little bit of a lighter protection and you're still okay drilling into the frame, this is going to be an option for you. And if you're not interested in drilling at all, I would recommend looking at one of the sliders that bolts directly onto the body mounts of your Jeep so you won't have to drill any holes. Overall, this is going to be a fairly well-built and a fairly strong rock slider. Although being bolted into the frame as it is and having a lot of leverage from sticking out from the frame does mean you're not going to get quite as much protection from these as with those other sliders that are available. So it really comes down to what your budget is and how you use your Jeep. As I said, these are a pretty well-built slider. These are going to be two inch round tubing that is 0.12 inch wall thickness, and they're covered in a textured black powder coat finish, which is gonna help resist rust and corrosion and makes them look pretty good in my opinion. Now there are some other sliders on the market that are of a similar design and they fall into a similar price range as well. They are going to be a similar product. If you're definitely interested in going with the Rugged Ridge brand, I would recommend going with these. There's nothing wrong with them. However, if you're not that brand loyal or that brand specific, then there are a couple other versions of these that you can consider as well. So as I mentioned before, the install for these is going to be a two out of three wrenches and you're gonna to wanna to give yourself at least two hours to get them bolted up. The process for installing these is going to be holding the slider up to the side of the frame, positioning them where you like them, marking all eight holes, then removing the slider and drilling out the holes. Final assembly will be holding the slider up to the side of the frame again and using the included self-tapping screws to secure the slider onto the frame. Again, if you're not interested in drilling into your Jeep, this is not going to be the rock slider for you. If you are okay with drilling, you are going to have to have your hand tools around to get these installed as well as, of course, a drill and a good sharp set of drill bits. These are gonna come in at right around $225, and for something that is going to offer some protection onto the rocker area, gonna change the look of your Jeep and give you a step, I don't think that's too bad of a price. As I said before, there are some other versions of these out there that are built pretty well. Also, they're gonna be right around the same price. If you like the Rugged Ridge ones, I have nothing bad to say about these. These are gonna be good options. So that's my review of the Rugged Ridge Rock Crawler Rock Sliders fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers that you can find right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.